Hey, hey, what you say, food family? Mike here, and today I'm making one of my favorite Asian dishes, and quite possibly the main reason my wife decided to marry me, even though she probably regrets it at this point. I'm talking Thai shrimp curry. We're gonna make a green, spicy curry with fresh veggies, cool that down with some coconut milk, finish it up with some delicious shrimp. It just doesn't get any better. That being said, ain't nothing left but just to do it. So stick around and let's get cooking. Everything set up here. I'm going to be using this induction cooktop today, and the fan's a little loud, so rather than trying to talk over that, I'm just going to bring another camera around, zoom in, and uh, do a voiceover to explain it to you guys. Otherwise, the uh, recipe itself is in the description below. It'll take you to the website and also walk you through it and tell you what you need. Other than that, I'll uh, switch to the other camera and we'll get to cooking. All right, we'll start with our large pot and some olive oil over some medium high heat. We'll get that up to temperature and we're we'll add our fresh shredded carrots. We're going to saute these for oh, four or five minutes just to start to break them down. And then we'll move on to adding our fresh diced jalapeno. And obviously Thai chilies would be more traditional, but jalapenos would have had, so that's what I used in this particular case. We'll let this go for a minute or so just so it becomes fragrant. And then we'll add our sweet bell peppers. I'm using yellow and orange in this case. Red's also really good, but green will work as well if, that, if that's what you have. You also don't want to forget to use a little salt and pepper at this point to help saute those veggies and really start to sweat and break them down. Just give that a stir and we're going to let these go oh, for another two or three minutes just to get them slightly cooked before adding our diced onion. Kind of the same thing here. We're going to let these go another two or three minutes just to start to break them down. They should just start to turn translucent. And as always, I love garlic, so of course I'm putting in a ton of minced garlic, even though those flavors will be in the curry itself. I'm going to get this mixed in, and I happen to have some lemongrass paste in my fridge. I like to keep that on hand. It's a nice, bright note, extra layer of flavor in there. It's not necessary, but it's really good in this recipe if you do happen to have some. And finally, we'll add our curry paste itself. It will be pretty thick, but the liquids off the veggies will help kind of break that down and it'll get it mixed in. We're going to let that saute for just a few minutes to start bringing out that those aromas. Now my house was kind of cold so my coconut milk was fairly solid here but as you can see as soon as it hits those hot veggies it immediately liquefies and starts to mix in. You'll notice that green curry itself will start to turn the milk that, that yellowish green color right away. I'm going to be a little lazy today just use some canned Rotel tomatoes. It's not traditional. You can leave it out if you don't like them. I think they add a nice bright color and note to the overall meal. Then I'm just going to stir those in. They're going to cook two or three minutes. And then last but not least, I'm going to add baby corn. You can leave this out as well. It's not that important to the recipe, but I think it, it's a nice bit of extra texture in the curry in the end. Now taking a break from our curry for a minute, one thing I wanted to show you guys real fast before we finish up is how to defrost your uh, frozen shrimp in the fridge. What you want to do is put it in a colander over a small bowl so actually any of those liquids drain off and you're not stuck with sloppy wet shrimp. This is a simple way to do it, throw it in the fridge for a couple hours before you're going to make this meal and it should defrost just fine. Other than that, we'll get back to the uh, zoomed in camera and finish up the last couple ingredients here and then uh, give a taste test. Okay, so I'm going to add my thawed shrimp to my pot of vegetables. We're going to carefully fold these in and try to get the shrimp underneath the hot veggies so it can actually start to cook. If you don't want to go too rough about it or you'll break your shrimp up and end up with a lot of little half shrimp pieces instead of whole shrimp. It doesn't change the flavor, but of course you want it to look nice in the end, so take your time and fold it in. We're going to bring this up to temperature, a hot simmer or a low boil, whatever you want to call it, for probably five six minutes max shrimp cooks pretty fast here you don't want to overcook it make sure you give it a couple stirs throughout the process just so any shrimp on top get down to the bottom so they can get cooked all 
All right, as you can see, the uh, shrimp is all turned pink and finished cooking. The last thing I like to do with this recipe, I kill the heat, it, everything's done at this point, is finish it off with a handful of fresh basil. Nothing goes better with Thai food than fresh basil. So I'm going to put a lot of this in there. And I just gave it a rough chop just to kind of break it down. There were some pretty big leaves. It's nice if you can find the Thai sweet basil. It's not always an option. And we'll give that one last stir. Just let the basil flavors marry in with everything else. Now, as you can see, my uh, shrimp curry is very veggie heavy. You probably don't need two cans of corn. You don't need two cans of rotel. You could use fresh tomatoes instead of the rotel, of course. But I like a lot of veggies. It makes it go farther. You pair it with some rice, or you can eat it plain, just like soup, like this. It's just amazing. Relatively healthy. Yeah, there's a high fat content in the coconut milk, but if you're doing the keto diet, say it's uh, great for your macros. Other than that, I'm going to let this cool down a bit. We'll come back, I'll clean everything up, and uh, we'll give a taste test and see how we did. All right, welcome back. Everything cleaned up. We're going to have our uh, curry to try here. I'm just going to get plain like soup. I'm not going to bother with the rice right now. Y'all can make rice at home, of course. You can bite a shrimp and some veggies, some fresh basil. It just doesn't get any better, folks. The shrimp is nice, perfectly cooked. The vegetables still crunchy. A little heat there. Oh, feel it coming in on the tongue. Then that coconut milk cools it off immediately. So that pretty much wraps this one up. It's uh, quite delicious, and uh, I think you should definitely try it out. Like I said earlier in the video, if you like this recipe, I'll link it down below with the uh, directions in the walkthrough, all the ingredients. You know, get in the kitchen, make make people happy. This stuff's not that hard to make. It's a uh, it's a great meal few ingredients and anything you can find at the local grocery store and it's absolutely amazing that's all there is to it so with that being said mike here signing off and as always just keep cooking